In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to beat the cover two and really any zone defense in Madden 21, utilizing to play verticals from the shotgun bunch. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you've never met me before, my name or my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways we do that is through posting daily videos that are designed to help you become better on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. So if you want to subscribe, it's completely free to do that. And if you want YouTube to let you know whenever we release a new video, then go ahead and turn on the notifications by clicking that little bell icon at the bottom right right hand corner of your screen okay guys so as you might have already known i released a gun bunch ebook a couple of weeks ago out of the new york jets playbook it's actually a gun bunch and a bunch tight end ebook combined um, or you could just get one of the other formations if you wanted to but it's primarily centered around the gun bunch and so if you want to get that full ebook which basically what it is is it's a full strategy guide for how to use and implement this offense into your uh into your game plan then i would encourage you to pick it up it's just 15 bucks and it's in the description of this video now the play verticals that we're talking about today is probably one of the most underrated plays at this point in the year uh, for men 21 because a lot of people um, don't re really realize how powerful this play is especially if you're seeing a lot of zone uh, zone type of coverages so first and foremost I want to start out with the cover three um, cover three is one of those formations that you're going to get and as you can see here we have um, Jair Alexander over there uh, Jair Alexander is going to do the best job out of anybody because he has the deep out zone KO and he also has the the um, the acrobat ability there. So anyways, we're just going to put the X receiver, which is the tight end on a streak, and then we're going to do a little bit of a motion glitch. We're going to motion Tavon Austin to the right. We're going to motion him back to the left. And then we're going to motion him back to the right. And as soon as we get him out here, we're going to snap him. And basically, when he gets out here, we're going to basically do a little swerve catch like that right there. And as you can see, it's going to create a nice little opportunity for us to be able to beat the zone coverage uh, out of the cover three. Now, let me show you a cover four, for example. Backed off coverage is a lot better. This is a lot better against backed off coverage than press coverage. So if it can beat press, it can certainly beat the backed off. But you see there, motion him in, motion him back out, motion him back in, let him get all the way out to the sideline. And as you can see here, this is gonna be a nice little dot. Now, really quickly, I wanna clarify, you do wanna make sure that you are running your gun bunch to the wide side of the field. So the three receivers need to be on the right wide side of the field. So if the ball, um, real quick here, if the ball was on the right hash, then all you would want to simply do is just hit square and right trigger. And you'll see here, I can flip the play. Okay. And that's going to help you a lot. So again, we'll just show you the same motion here, same exact concept on this backside. And what you're going to notice is this is still going to be very, very effective. As you can see, it gets out a little swerve catch. The zone can't get out there. And as you can see, it's going to be wide open. If there's a linebacker in that zone it is way, way more wide open than if there's not a linebacker in that zone. So now you might be asking, well, what if they use, um, what if they use different types of zone drops? Well, real quick, let me show you Tampa two actually. So what if they run Tampa two, right? What if they have a, a cloud flat out there? Well, let me show you the first little bit here. You'll actually be interested to notice if you watch, if I motion him all the way out, get him out there, you're going to see that he's obviously going to be on that route, but there will become a point where he's going to get over that cloud flat and in and underneath that deep half or on the outside of that. And as you can see there, we can hit that very tender spot on the defense, but it's very consistent both with a zone dropped cover two and a standard cover two. So it doesn't matter if they do zone drops or not, um, this is still gonna get out there. You'll see here again, if I just wait, 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 pass lead to the outside, click on. As you can see, I can swerve catch over the cover two. This is um, a, a really, really nice way to be able to have this play um, in your arsenal. Now you might be asking, well, what is your, what is your primary read for when they run man-to-man -man coverage? Well, this is why I like, you can do several different things but you with your running back, but basically your running back and your R1 receiver are kind of your go-to man coverage beaters out of this formation. So you see, if I use that motion snap trajectory here, you're gonna see that that running back is gonna cut to the outside and essentially get open. Now, if you wanted to put your running back on an option route, you could do that, um, you could do that just fine. So you'll see here, if I go to that man coverage uh, and press, if I put my running back on an option route, you can see that this is um, still gonna get wide open. So I'll show you this one more time. Motion them in, motion them out, or motion them out, motion them in, motion them back out. And then you see here, the option route will also be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage 
if you do that. Another route that I like to use on, especially on this play because R1 is going on a crossing route. Um, what I like to do out of this is I'll put the running back on an in route as well. And what you'll notice is this in route will serve a lot of different purposes within this play. But as you'll see, I mean, he's gonna get wide open, come around and most, some verticals out of the, some bunch verticals actually have him on an in route. Um, that's a little bit better, but as you can see, he gets his separation. Now, if you know for a fact that they are running man-to-man -man coverage on you, another thing that you could do out of this play is you could put your tight end on an out route, your running back on an option route, and then basically you have three reads now that are going to beat man. Your tight end is going to get open. Um, I actually really like the smart route or tight end out, out route as well out of this. So if they're, for example, let's say that, let's say that you're first and 10, and you needed something this actually is a really really good concept but basically you're just going to put your tight end on a smart rounded out route um so instead of that five yard out route, you got a little bit deeper but if you watch what happens this smart rounded out route of the tight end is actually super underrated you see it doesn't get jammed in whatsoever and just gets wide open as you can see if i possession caught that that would have been an easy read so the point is this does a very very good job at beating a lot of different styles of defenses now let's say for example let's say that they were running um cover three mabel so if i put if i double flat here so i'm gonna put a hard flat and a curl flat another thing that that may, another thing that you could do with this is you could actually go ahead and simply take the r1 receiver and streak him up the seam and then basically you're doing the same exact concept but you're leaving that tight end on his little wheel route and what you'll notice is this wheel route basically for a low ball will be wide open now that's actually a relatively easy route to user, which is the reason why I don't normally do that, but that is an option that you have. And again, this all fits in with this one little route. We've built all this, all of these um, little reads here out of this one little route, this little wheel route out of bunch that a lot of people don't think can beat man very well or can beat zone very well anymore. But as you can see, it, it certainly can. Now, um, let me address the situation that you just saw. So let's say that for whatever reason, they're able to get out on this circle route okay normally it's because the tight end's not on a streak but basically you're not it, it normally is because you're not throwing it fast enough if you see them back off instantly and you and the the pass lead on this is very important you need to make sure whenever you do your pass lead that you are pass leading this all the way to the outside it's got to get way out there as you can see and there you can see you get that wide open read so anyways that's how you can run gun bunch verticals against every zone in the game this will also be zone drops the same kind of principles uh across with zone drops as well so if you have any questions about this please let me know but this is a phenomenal passing concept for you to be able to simply um, just beat the zone coverage and again if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive ebook it is available for just 15 bucks in the description of this video thanks for your time and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day.